so tired. I was the one that was trying to settle her down for three hours. Yeah, and I've never heard anyone make so much noise. Why don't you just bring her downstairs? Because Carl and Chaz were down here. <sighs> this isn't going to work, Jimmy. What? Well, him. Them knows. I mean, he's only been back five minutes. He's already got another woman in. He's entitled to a relationship. Why can't he go back to Pear Tree? Because this is his house. Yeah, and we've got a baby to look after. And if she thinks she's letting that psychopathic son of hers... Come on, All right. <clears throat> Sleep well? Mm, yeah, all right. We didn't. You ever heard Angelica crying? Yeah. The noise from downstairs didn't help. Oh, uh, obviously things are a bit difficult at the moment with the baby and everything. <sighs> uh, we need our space. Yeah, so do we. So we're all just going to have to be a bit more sensitive, aren't we? That's all that matters. It'd be perfect. It'd be expensive. I don't care what it costs. It's my big day. I want to do it in style. I thought we were having a small registry office style I've wedding. I've changed my mind. You, you know what these places are like. They get booked up years in advance. We'll discuss it another time. <sighs> no, we won't. Because we never get a chance to discuss anything. There's always too many other people around. I'll go upstairs. No, you won't. Carl, please. Stay where you are. No, I just want an easy life. Will you lay off her? What did I say? Can we not suspend hostilities for a minute? Angelica's getting stressed and all. Yeah, and whose fault's that? Goodness sake. Oh, come on, Nico. Oh, she's always only round like a bad smell. You know, what with the wedding and everything? We haven't even set a date yet. Two things have to happen before we get married. One, I need to lose my baby weight, and two, she needs to get out. Otherwise, someone's going to be in big trouble. <laughs>